Pig out. You're invited to Roach Farm and Garden Spring Pig Pickin' this Saturday, April 25th. Free lunch with local favorite Waylon Hitchcock cooking a whole hog with all the fixins. Special giveaways one every minute. And special prices on Bonnie plants with many to choose from. Saturday only, 10 10 10 is only $7.75. Wild Game Shorgum is $24.99 and Brown Top Millet only $30. Buy a $5 ticket and you could win a four gallon fryer raffle. So pick out this Saturday from 11 to 1 at Roach Farm and Garden Spring Pig Picking. Hello everyone and welcome. Great news from Trinity Christian School campus today. Caleb McLeod, we've been watching you run for several years. You're just a natural, aren't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> and you're going up to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, you're going to be signing here in just a few moments with uh, Belmont University. What made you pick Belmont? Um, I mean, they got a really good team and when I went up for the visit, everything was just, just seemed perfect. So, I mean, I just Decided to go with them. Mm -hmm. And I know you looked at some other schools. Tell me about Belmont when you when you went and visited. How big a campus, how many kids go there, and, and tell me about Belmont. Well, uh, Belmont is a small Christian private college, and um, I was just blown away when I went up there. I mean, the campus is really beautiful. It's a great team, good coaches, so I yeah. think it was the best fit for me. Well, good. You can probably outrun everybody there, can't you? <laughs> You love to run, don't you? Yes, sir. Tell me how long you've been running and what, what got you into it? Did, did your mom and daddy, were they runners, or is this something you just come about? I mean, it's just something I kind of picked up. I mean, I started in the sixth grade, and I just I went out there, and, I mean, I won my first race ever, and I just knew from then on I was – that's mm -hmm. what I was supposed to do. You was born to run, huh? Yes, sir. I guess. <laughs> that could be a movie about you, I guess. But Okay, let's talk about some of your records. I know you hold a few records in uh, Georgia Independent School Association. Tell me what records you hold. I hold the cross-country record for both double A and triple A. I hold the 3,200-meter record, the 1,600-meter record, and the 800-meter record for double A also. Wow. <laughs> More than a couple, huh? And how far, like cross country, uh, help us a little bit there. How far do you actually run in a cross country event? Um, they're all pretty, I mean, they're all different in length, but mm -hmm. mostly try to base them around 3.2 miles. Mm -hmm. Some of them may be a little short, might be 3.1. Some might be 3.3, but 3.2 is pretty much the standard. And I can tell anybody watching this ever saw a, a track event here at Trinity, it seems like, and I've watched a few, but you always come in and then quite a bit back, we have some other people come in. So you pretty well leave everybody behind. So uh, do you ever get too comfortable in what you're doing? Cause you are in the lead most of the time, but does that put you in a comfort zone or do you still try really hard and, and try to beat your own time? Um. I've gotten, I've really gotten where I just kind of go out and then I just kind of settle in. I don't really, I mean, I'm bad about not pushing myself against the clock right now. I mean, it's just hard, I guess, mm -hmm. having no one. Yeah, I'm sure. And you've run in some other events. I know, I think you've been to Georgia and run in some of the events up there. Is that right? I mean, you've run um, in some other events. Yeah, Tell me about those. Well, I've gone down to Florida State the last two years okay. and ran at the, uh, relays they have down there mm -hmm. for track and I mean it's really good competition down there and I always really get some good times. So. That had to help you didn't it? Definitely. Yeah and Trinity's known for a good track team even through the years and you know I was looking recently in the paper uh, the pole vaulting uh, the young man that uh, he said he beat his own record I think recently uh, so y'all are known for track, so that's got to be a good feeling, being a part of a team, even though you're running this event. Uh, and, of course, your brother's close behind, isn't he? Yes, sir. <laughs> but y'all are known for track. So tell me about some of the other guys and, and like, the pole vaulting. Now, that, that's got to be difficult. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have Brent Rosa in pole vault. He's currently vaulting 14.9. Uh, this is wow. PR out of me, <laughs> but I think he's gotten, like, up to 15.2 at practice. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, he's just – he works hard at it. He comes out. 
he goes he actually drives home to Fitzgerald, practices every day with a, a private coach. Mm -hmm. And he's working really hard. That's phenomenal. Yeah. That That's is crazy. Phenomenal. Yeah. And and running's one thing, and I'm not making a lot of running, but pole vaulting and when you up thing, I mean a basketball goal's ten feet. Yeah. So you're talking about fifteen feet two inches. Yeah. That's way up there, isn't it? Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> At least you're grounded, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, what about some of the other track stars at Trinity? Um, we got Wyatt Payne. I mean, he just – he's overall a great athlete. He just mm -hmm. comes out. He is. He just pretty much shows up. He doesn't really practice that much. And, I mean, he shows up and runs a 51 and mm -hmm. 400. Just a natural. Isn't yes. It? And, then, I mean, he, he won a long jump at Region 2. And uh, I think he got second in high jump – or no, not high jump. Um, the 200. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's just natural athlete. Yeah, he's good at football, great baseball player, like you said. Just a good all-around athlete. Yeah. Okay, your brother's in the ninth grade, right? Yes, sir. Tell us about him. Um, Jacob, he is currently coming in behind me pretty much mm -hmm. every single race. Well, you're the older yeah. brother. <laughs> he's running some crazy times for a freshman, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's approaching breaking the 10-minute barrier in the two-mile. He's also – running like 440 miles. Mm, wow. And he's running like 208, 207, 800s too. So, I mean, he's... In the ninth grade. Yeah, which is... That's that's very good. Yeah. So, do you work with him? Do y'all... I know you don't compete really because, I mean, you are you got more experience, but do you work with him trying to bring him along? Yeah, I mean, uh, we have two... Uh, it's me, Jacob, and then this other boy, Quillian. Mm -hmm. We all kind of stay together we all run together i mean on weekends we run together we push each other and it's kind of like me then him then quillian yeah. we just kind of push each other along you know that's good i yeah. mean good good competition uh what would you think down the road three or four years if he breaks your record so what, what are you going to think about that well i mean i'm just going to be glad for him i mean mm -hmm. i want to as a big brother i want to see him you know succeed and i really hope he can Beat some of my records. And tell me about your family. I don't think I've ever asked you about your family. Tell me, you got a brother, you got any other siblings? That's all. And who's your parents? Uh, Kirk and Robin McLeod. Okay. And I know they're proud of you. Yes, sir. It's got to be a proud day for them. And any time you get a scholarship, you or any young person, to be able to go to school uh, and have it paid for partially or in full, that's a great benefit to a family, isn't it? Yes, sir. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, you've been going to Trinity since, I think, second grade. Is that right? Yes, sir. I know you're going to miss some things. Tell me a few things you're going to miss most about your years here at Trinity. Well, I'm definitely going to miss uh, the cross-country and track teams. Mm -hmm. I mean, over the years, I've gotten really close to the coaches and the team also. I'm going to miss, uh, like, small classroom mm -hmm. and, like, all my teachers and stuff. And, I mean, pretty much the Dublin location, you know, it's not too big, it's not too small, you know. Yeah, Trinity's a great school. I know you've enjoyed these years here. Who's uh, one of your favorite teachers? Oh, um, one of my favorite, probably my hardest teacher, uh, Miss Price. Mm -hmm. She's been teaching, I think, for forty so years. She taught my mom. Yeah, she, she's <laughs> she's been. As a matter of fact, you know, she taught at East Lawrence, which I went to East Lawrence. Most people know that, but uh, she taught me. I graduated in '78. Yeah. She taught my brother and sister, which are younger than I am. She taught both my children which are way younger. <laughs> so, but we always had a, a standing joke around East Lawrence. You didn't graduate without getting through Miss Price. Yeah, she's You had to get through her class. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely tough, but I mean, you just, you gotta love her. She's... And you can't con Miss Price. Some teachers you can kind of, you know, I, I, con's not a good word, I guess, but they'll help you some. Miss Price, you're gonna get it, aren't you? Definitely. Yeah, she's definitely. a great teacher. Uh, Miss Faye Price, just a... Long time educator. Well, I'm glad you picked her. She was my, she was one of my favorite teachers growing up. So that tells you, Miss Faye Price, if she spanned from from my years in high school to your years in high school, that tells you how important she's been here in Lawrence County. So uh, she's a great educator. We're proud of you. You're going to be a Belmont University Bruin. So you're going to wear it well, aren't you? Yes, sir. Welcome back, everybody. Now I have the proud coach. We had Caleb on, Evan, Evan Weingarner. You've been coaching here. We we're talking off camera. I didn't realize that we were adding up outside. You've been here for seven years now. Yes, sir. Um, it's been a great seven years for me. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to coach multiple things here. I coach cheerleading, basketball, 
track, cross country, and I've even done some tennis too. So I've, I've coached a lot of different <laughs> sports, but it's a great experience. And um, it's just fun being out here coaching these kids. They're good kids, and uh, we would just really appreciate all that they do. So. And what a great school. I always have fun coming out here, and I'm in all the schools. And we have good schools in Lawrence County, but uh, it's just a great atmosphere. I know yes. you enjoy that. Great kids, and, and especially a day like today. We've Absolutely. watched Caleb uh, grow up here since second grade and mm -hmm. uh, mature not only as a fine young man, but in a great athlete. Absolutely. And I was telling Caleb a while ago, cross country, Anybody ever been to cross country at Trinity? You always see Caleb come across the finish line, and then seem like several minutes later, <laughs> yes, sir. All these other people come in, but yes, uh, I know you, it's been uh, really good for you coaching him, hasn't it? It has. Um, it's been a blessing to coach him, um, and uh, I'm so proud of him. Mm -hmm. um, I can't be more excited for him, and especially him to get to go on to the next level collegiately, and you know, see what happens there, and uh, maybe he can pursue his dreams and. Uh, you know, reach the next level, who knows, and he may be able to run professionally at some point in his lifetime. Um, but I'm, I'm super proud of him, and he's got a younger brother that's coming up, and, you know, he's he, that's exciting too. So I get I get another McLeod for a while, which mm -hmm. is nice. But I'm just really excited for Caleb and all the accomplishments. Um, he's going for his 14th individual state title this weekend wow. at the state track meet. He's got three more races to get 14, but he's won 11 so far individually. And I bet he's won probably three or four um, team titles along with that. So, you know, the accolades just keep coming for him. He already has three state records in track, and uh, he's got a state record in cross country. So, I mean, you, you can't ask for a better career, high, uh, you know, as far as his high school career yeah, goes. Absolutely. And he loves to run. Uh, we talked about some of his records a while ago, and I even asked him the question. You wasn't in here, but – what's going to happen when Jacob comes along and breaks him <laughs> records, which the the good older brother wants to yeah. see his brother succeed. So I think so. And, um, you know, K Jacob is his own uh, person, mm -hmm. and um, they're, they're different. They run a lot alike, but they are different in their personalities. And um, I think Jacob is always going to try to pursue um, trying to get those records as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it, it'll just be exciting to watch him run. I'm not really concerned about the records. I give Caleb a hard time a lot of times. I'm like, you know your brother's coming <laughs> up, and he's probably going to do break those records. And, and, you know, they go back and it's forth. It's all in fun. Yeah, yeah, fun competition, brotherly love type thing. But uh, they, they, um, they work so hard. And, um, it's just been really a joy to coach both of them. And like I said, they're they're totally two different people, um, but I think that you'll see uh, Jacob's name out there just like his brother too. So Yeah, and Trinity is known uh, for track all through the years. Uh, Trinity, it, it, good athletics, but as uh, long as I can remember, Trinity has a good track team. Yes. Year in and year out, you have those standouts. And um, I was talking a little while ago, the young man that uh, does the pole vaulting, Yes, Brenton Rosa. Rosa. Yes, sir. Uh, now, running is great, but when you can jump 15, I think he did 15-2 or something like yeah. that, mm. you know, five feet higher than a basketball goal. It's amazing. Now, that's getting up there, isn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Of course, your background, you've cheerleaded in college and all. Yep. I'm sure you've been way up there, too, without a pole. Huh? <laughs> that's right. Well, I don't typically go up, but I do toss girls up that high. So, <laughs> I've uh, seen it's you a little do bit different. Now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So it's a little bit different, um, although I have flown one basket toss in my lifetime and uh, been just messing around. But, um, <laughs> you know, we do. We get up there, and Brenton is another standout athlete mm -hmm. here at Trinity. And, you know, he may not do all the sports, but he's found something that he loves. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're hoping to see him uh, vault at the le next level, too. Right now his plan is to go to Kennesaw State. And oh, so we'll great. see – where that goes, but um, we're excited for him as well. I mean, I'm so proud of him. Um, the athletes this last weekend, I have nine freshman boys on my track team, and uh, we just went and won ourselves a region championship, and we're looking to go defend a state title. Um, so I think that um, with the, the next generation of kids and athletes coming up, we got lots of success coming up. We're sad to watch Caleb and his class go. Um, but at the same time, I think, you know, we got a bright future ahead of us still. So, And it's a natural part of life. you got to let them go, and, <laughs> uh, and you got more coming, like you said, especially all those ninth graders. That's yes, great, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's un unbelievable. I'm, you know, I talked to them at the beginning of the year, and I told them, I said, 
you know, y'all have a chance to set a precedence here at Trinity. And, you know, y'all could possibly win uh, a region championship every single year. And then you could also probably win a state championship every single year oh. if you put your mind to it. And you and you work at it. I mean, it mm -hmm. takes work. I mean, we're not going in this weekend thinking that we have it because we don't. Mm -hmm. We don't know that. But, um, you know, if they continue to work well with one another and work hard um, at practice, then, I mean, it's, you know, the, the limit is uh, endless. I mean, there's – uh, endless opportunities for I those kids. I can't believe it's already here. It just seems like yesterday y'all were winning that state title last year. It we does. were out here talking about the state title, and uh, it seems like the older I get, <laughs> the more time flies. Yes, but, yes. Uh, but that's really good. Uh, who's a few more of the standout? You got some graduating. Any I do. I have. Caleb? Yeah, I have two more at, uh, seniors that are uh, throwing and running for me. Uh, Wyatt Payne, which we hear about him all the time He's out all here. He's an all, athlete, yes. Yeah. Unbelievable athlete. Um, he runs the 400, the 4x4, four four, the 4x1, four um, and then long jumps. And, uh, I mean, he's – you can watch him do anything, and he's going to be good at it. And uh, it was funny. I was telling one of my coaches uh, that I coach against from a different team uh, just last Wednesday, I said, you know, I could have put Wyatt in seven events, and he could have scored in all seven events. Mm -hmm. But – we can't. We can only put them in five events. And um, so he's, you know, another kid that is always fun to watch. And then we have Patrick Whittle, um, mm -hmm. who's a big old kid and um, throwing the shot in the disc for us. And he could very likely win both events. Um, he's got Ben, a ninth grader, Howard, mm -hmm. um, who will kind of challenge him in the discus. But um, we're looking for the, both, of, both of those boys to do really well at the state meet as well. Oh, so. that's great. Uh, now, Wyatt's going to Georgia, yep. and Patrick is Patrick going is to... undecided right now. Okay, I um, thought he's he still visiting somewhere. But... He's actually still visiting some colleges. Mm -hmm. um, he just got back from a trip to California looking at some junior colleges, oh, possibly good. playing football. He's not really sure yet, um, so it'll be exciting to see kind of where he – he decides to go within the next month or two. But he's got choices. He does. Isn't he's got that great. He's got some choices and he's mm -hmm. got some opportunities out there, so it'll be exciting. And Wyatt has talked about, you know, walking on at Georgia for the football team and wow, that'd be um, great. you know, that's exciting for us and mm -hmm. uh, he's still debating, but I mean it's still a possibility and, yeah. a, and an opportunity for him as well. So we're Good. very proud of all of our athletes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, proud year for a coach of a yes, track team. Yes, absolutely. It? It's um, very exciting. We're hoping that we can go and defend that title this weekend. So, Well, Evan, on behalf of the community and our station, we appreciate what you do. Absolutely. You work hard out here, not only with track, but uh, you help out with everything. Not only cheerleading, but you're a part of cheering on Trinity Christian School. Absolutely. And, and that's just as important as anything you do because these lives we're talking about, uh, hopefully they'll come back here and be productive citizens right here Absolutely. in our community. Absolutely, and that's what we hope for. So, yeah. uh, And not only that, just good citizens of the United States, yeah. and they represent the school well, and they represent who, uh, themselves, and, uh, you know, first and foremost, God. Amen. So it's, yeah. uh, you know, it's very exciting, and we hope that we can do that every single year. Okay, finally, last but not least, I have the headmaster here at Trinity Christian School, uh, Mr. Cooey. What a great day on the campus here. Oh, it's a beautiful day and you know, a lot of activity. Uh, and I'm sure the kids would say it's a great day because there's three weeks of class and a week of exams and Count it day down, out huh? for the summer. That's right. Uh, we're here celebrating Caleb McLeod. We've watched him all through the years. He's been going here since he was in the second grade. Right. And we've seen him mature not only as a into a fine young man, but a great athlete, haven't we? We definitely have, and, and you know, it is, he is a fine young man and a fine family, and just, mm -hmm. you know, what they bring to the school and the community, I mean, it's, they've, they've done a great job, uh, you know, raising the boys and, and again, you know, what they bring to the school, mm -hmm. but, uh, but it has been fun to watch, and, you know, especially thinking back on the years and, and watching him work and train and, and develop, uh, and I don't think anybody would have thought that he would be where he is right now, fixing to go sign a college scholarship mm -hmm. but you know when he first started but I mean and but you talking about somebody that's dedicated mm -hmm. puts in some hours and uh, I'd hate to know how many miles that he's actually put on those legs right now oh I know and he's told me before in interviews how much he ran in a week mm -hmm. and people will hear that and make comments around town right. they cannot believe anybody any human could run that that's far right. but he does that's right. I mean, but dedication and hard work, mm -hmm. it shows right here. Oh, it pays off. It, it? it does. And, and the other thing is the benefits, you know, not only for us as a school, but for other kids is 
is the example that he has, you know, set for the other mm -hmm. runners. Boy, it doesn't matter whether it's another boy or a girl. You know, he set an example, and he's and he's leading definitely from the front because they see his heels. But mm -hmm. but he leads, you know, mm -hmm. with his actions and with, and with his work ethic. And he's leaving his little brother behind to break all those records. That's right. <laughs> it is. We're glad. <laughs> and I tell you, another one I followed through the years, and uh, that's uh, Evan Weingarner. What a great. Uh, what a great coach he's been, but he's a great leader here on the campus at Trinity. I always it, notice that when I come. He is, and he's done a great job. And called whether it's the you know the the girls cheerleading or cross country or with the, the track, and and even when he wasn't the head coach in in uh, the track, you know being down there assisting and helping mm -hmm. just a team player and a great mm -hmm. addition. And not only in athlete athletics, other functions you have here, he is a leader on this campus. That's right. He's so, got his finger in a lot of different areas. And I think we'll both agree, all our schools here in Lawrence County, we have some mm -hmm. great schools. We do. Uh, uh, you get a great education here if mm -hmm. you so choose to. But tell us before we go, Mr. Cooley, what's some of the benefits of coming here to Trinity Christian School? Well, you know, our three pillars we always talk about is a great academic uh, education. and uh, But academically, you know, we try to push them uh, beyond what they think they can can do, but it's a safe environment and it's a Christian environment that mm -hmm. we raise them in. And a lot of them are moving on this year uh, to University of Georgia, to some <clears throat> major schools, right. maybe not to play sports, but that's not that's not everything that's by right. no means. But we are proud of people like Caleb that can take it mm -hmm. to that next level. And hopefully soon, Patrick Whittle, I'm hoping he'll be making an announcement we can be back out here. Right. Uh, he's got some great choices to make. He and, does. And, that, and that's class. is a, It's a uh, a large class and, and the kids have just been involved in a lot of different areas and mm -hmm. and like I said some of them may go off and play collegiate sports and uh, uh, most of them you know won't as with any school but you know it's just uh, I think the leadership that they'll be able to to go into any whether it's college or technical school or or the armed forces or whatever that they've got a well-rounded education and a well-rounded you know base upon their life and that as they go forward and are exposed to much more things they can make wise decisions mm -hmm. absolutely and when is graduation may the 22nd okay. seven o'clock almost here isn't it? it is three weeks <laughs> three weeks from this coming friday and is anybody besides you counting down the days <laughs> oh well you know we just a lot of people are counting them down I know. i'm counting down because we're already working for next year on what we've got my mm -hmm. mind goes okay what do we have to do this, this summer to continue to get ready you mm -hmm. know what we've started right now for next year and final question we'll be talking to him soon but you got a new football coach <clears throat> right we do and coach jimmy fields and real excited he's been on campus uh last starting his fourth week his uh, daughter, and uh, once she finishes school, that she'll join next year as a senior and his mm -hmm. wife. And uh, we're just excited about, you know, what he's already brought to, mm -hmm. to our school and to the community. And, uh, you know, him being here a year already, uh, and I think 90 to 91 over at Dublin as mm -hmm. an assistant right. with Sam Bars, he's already created some uh, memories. It's, it's kind of funny, some of our, one of our middle school's uh, uh, students his dad played for him wow over at Dublin and so <laughs> I was looking at some young pictures the other day that's good but but he's already making an impact and we're excited about that mm -hmm.